So, let's see. When I first arrived there, one in ten women were dying in childbirth. Uh, and we know one in every 30 seconds a child's dying of malaria, and, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, we now have close to a thousand mothers and parents on AIDS treatment, and in fact, they are coming back to life. I, I don't know if you've seen sort of this Lazarus effect of the AIDS treatment. We have 40,000 children and pregnant women sleeping under insecticide-treated bed nets. Um, we've drastically reduced the maternal mortality rate. When I first got there, uh, you would see women being rushed in and ready to give birth and having an obstetrical emergency and having absolutely no means for surgical intervention, no doctor, no surgery room. We're just about to open a, I don't know how many thousand square foot surgery center at the hospital. Um, they are now having blood transfusions at the hospital, which, I mean, just imagine going to a hospital, there's no doctor, there's no equipment, there's no blood, there's no resuscitation equipment. Um, women were dying on the side of the road because they couldn't get to the, they couldn't get to the hospital because there was no ambulance. There are now two ambulances at the hospital. And on and on, <laughs> I can't even think, and, and, and we have, we have five children who pulled out of one of the worst villages that you can possibly imagine, girls who are at such high risk that even one of our scholarship girls ended up being raped, um, but are now going to one of the best boarding schools in the country. We're putting them through these mentorship programs where they are learning to not be as submissive, to be able to stand up for themselves. We've got legal rights training, because I observed so much domestic violence and it just pissed me off so much. I was like, there's got to be something that can happen here. And all of the people who are training our communities are Ugandans as well. They're Ugandan women. And so they're a lot better than me coming in thinking I know what I'm talking about. So I'm very, very excited about these social justice programs that we're involved with, and of course, we're going to have six schools by the built by the end of 2010. And um, yeah, how many years? Three oh, years. I'm sorry, three years. We're three, years. three years. Three years. She's done all this. We got uh, our 501c3 designation in December of 2009. Uh, 2006. So yeah, it was very exciting. So I think yeah, you can definitely. I mean, I did that. I just sort of took what I already know and applied it to the thing that I was most passionate about.